Hello everyone, so today's shave we're gonna try a set by Tatonic Shave or Super Safety Razors. Um, this is in conjunction with, I think they all together with Parker, but uh, uh, Super Safety Razors are in uh, uh, the States, uh, New York, and they sent me this, so first of all, thank you. They sent me the card saying thank you, but thank you for sending all the all, all the stuff. Now, we're gonna use all the set. In this case, it's gonna be Excalibur. And we're gonna use one of my favorite razors by Parker, which is the Semi Slant. Today, we'd, we tried to go with all of it by, by Parker, including the blades. The only thing I'm, I'm missing that I have to try and get for ne next time is the, the their brush. But we're gonna go with the Simpson Trafalgar T3 for this one. Now, I really don't know what to expect because I never tried any of it uh, and I haven't heard anything about them. So I'm gonna try and see what we're working with. So to start with, we're gonna use a pre-shave oil. So I'm just gonna put some water on my face and we start the, the shave. There we go. By the way, I don't know how the sun is gonna be on this one because I'm trying a, a new mic, so we'll see how it goes. There we go. Now, pre-shave oil is unscented. There you go. It was locked. I'd say these two squirts would be probably enough. So put it back there and we'll see. There we go. Now, pre-shave applied. Let's let this sink in a bit. And while we do that, let me just check what they say about it. Yeah, two pumps actually, <laughs> let me talk about it, two pumps there. Uh, ingredients, they have loads of different oils here. Uh, a bit of lime, a vitamin E. So I'm just gonna put it there. You can pause and read the ingredients there. So that's what they have on this. Yeah, and you can see that it's shiny where I put, where I applied the, the oil. So before I open, let's soak up the brush and then load up the blade as well. So let's go. So brush is there soaking. Let's load up the blade on the razor. There you go, blade loaded. Now let's open up. I have to say the oil is actually pretty slick already. My hands are feeling, feeling sleek and uh, soften up already on the hands. So I would say the face is the same. So let's go. The Tatonic Shave Excalibur. It's in the wrapper, but there's scent there already. So I'd say this is gonna be an intense one. Yeah, some musky, definitely. Very musky. Now, we're gonna just take it off the wrapper there. If it wants to come off, there we go. This tin is actually, I have to say one thing, this tin is actually pretty sturdy. There's some tins sometimes that are um, very, very soft, but you still have to be careful, of course. If you let it fall, it's gonna have a bang there. So let's go and unwrap this. Yeah, the scent is kind of a um, musky, woodsy, very manly. It's a familiar scent, I have to say. Yeah, lovely, really nice. So let's go let's take this off the wrapper. I uh, might use a blade, I suppose. Oh, I have an Astro there that was drying, so we'll go. This is definitely a puck. Look at this. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of intense on the puck. Musky, woodsy. Feels like um, the glycerin uh, uh, soaps. Yeah, scent, scent wise, really, really nice. Actually, I'm not gonna put it on the tin. I'm gonna leave it in my hand and load from my hand. Can always use the rest up there and then pass it under water and put it on the tin. Or I can leave it outside drying, which I might actually get something to put the... I actually have a soap rack there. I'm gonna put it there on the back and that's where we're gonna leave this one dry afterwards. Not on the tin, leave the tin there on the back. Yeah, it's a familiar scent, musky, woodsy, very manly, definitely. So let's go, let's do this, let's start leathering. Now we're gonna take whatever I have here and put it on our face. Now let's wash this. There you go. Looks like it wasn't even used. So just put it there and very sleek, I have to say. My hands are really slippery. So let's just wash it there and let's go. Uh, 
There we go. Leathered up really quick, I have to say. Really, really quick. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't need much water. It's not a thirsty soap at all. And it forms really, really quick. What you guys can see, I'm gonna show there. Really, there you go. Just lovely, lovely leather, I have to say. Feels a light leather, scent-wise. It's exactly the same as it was on the puck. It didn't lose or gain after leathering. Really nice, really manly. It's a scent that it's very familiar. Reminds me of the old musky uh, colognes. Um, there's woodsy there. Feels actually small. There's like a hint of freshness there. I don't know if it has some kind of citrusy there on the back, but uh, small. It's more musky and woodsy. Uh, I don't know what type of um, uh, wood is there, but uh, definitely woodsy. So let's go. Parker Semi Slant with the Parker Blade first use. Let's start shaving. By the way, I have about five five days, five, six days growth. So it's a bit big compared with my usual. So let's go. Now, first few passes, I have to say, pretty slick. The blade is just gliding like there's nothing there. Pretty, pretty slick. Post slickness, not as much. But uh, while it's there, it's not drying per se, but the, um, it's actually pretty suited, I have to say. The skin feels very, very soft. Very soft. But um, post slickness, not as much. Yeah, as soon as you put some water, yeah, there's loads of slickness there. But um, yeah, it feels like it's suiting the skin, so good. Pretty good, I have to say. Gliding-wise, feels like there's nothing there. Look. Now, first pass is done. I have to say, glide-wise, while the leather is there, plenty of protection, pretty, pretty slick. But then it sinks into the skin straight away and it feels like it's soothing the skin. Post slickness is not that much, but as soon as you put some water like this, yeah, there's loads of slickness there now, look. So really, really nice in terms of that. And for me, the most important thing is if it soothes the skin and it feels like it's soothing the skin. So really nice. So let's get ready for second pass. I'm gonna just put the lid on the thing there. So let's go get ready for a second pass. There we go. Just dry my hands there and get the brush and let's go get ready for second pass. There you go, ready for second pass. I have to say, this leather is very, very, very light. It's one of those, uh, doesn't feel um, uh, heavy on your face, really, really light. The scent doesn't subdue a bit, it's still the same intensity, still that musky, woodsy, masculine scent, and it feels silky on your face. Silky and light. It's not uh, very dense, it doesn't feel very dense anyway, but uh, slickness is there. You guys can see now I just didn't form much now, I just painted basically, because on the first pass the semi slant just took most of the growth, so now the second growth is gonna be more like a pickup basically. So let's go, second pass, Parker semi slant, uh, Parker blade first use. Well, second pass is done. So really nice, I have to say. I don't think I missed any spots. Ooh, baby, yes, really, really nice here on the bottom, I have to say. And I have to say, the skin is feeling gorgeous. Even though you don't feel, there you go. That's what I was gonna say. The post slickness, you don't feel the post slickness there. Um, Like for buffing, definitely put a bit more water to buff. Small spot there, there you go. Yeah, a bit of water and you have enough slickness for buffing, but uh, it's not one of those that you, you feel confident buffing straight away because it really sinks into the skin uh, straight away. But uh, it does leave the, the skin feeling really nice. Plenty of protection, pretty, pretty, pretty slick while it's there, but as soon as you pass with the, the, the blade, it kind of sinks in. So if you want to buff, put a bit of water or go back to the brush. That's my thought of it. So we're gonna take this off and see what we have left on the brush. There we go. I'll just dry my hands. Let's see what we have left on the brush. Yeah, this scent is a really familiar, musky, woozy scent. Really nice. This actually brings me back to the old clones. Yeah, leave it there. As you guys can see, pretty light, but still had loads and forms really, really quick, this leather. Look, still there. 
So let's go, let's take this off now. And if I keep doing, you start seeing that it's sinking into the skin and disappearing. So really nice, there you go. So let's take this off. There you go, I'll pet my face. That's it, now some witch hazel, there we go. Lovely. Yeah, my skin is feeling gorgeous. Really BBS today, guys, I have to say. Feels great when you leave it for a bit longer and you feel that you need to go for a shave and you do it. Just lovely. So let's wash all my stuff and let this witch hazel sink in and I see us back for the post shave. See us in a bit. We're back. So let's go into the post shave. To start with, as you guys know, I prefer balm first. So that's what we're gonna use. Balm first. The tonic shave. I think this is uh, unscented because it doesn't have a description there at all. It says moisturizing and soothing. There you go. That's what we're gonna use. Pretty thick. Now, I'm gonna have to say straight away, fresh. This definitely, if it doesn't have menthol, has something similar to menthol, because that's what it feels like. Let me just check here. Aloe vera, could be lime, no, there's menthol there as well. Menthol and lime. So I'll say that's what it's there, because it definitely feels fresh on your face. Oh, really, really nice. Yeah, I mean, it does. It has a small uh, scent there, but not much, very subdued. But yeah, I'll say this is one of those that just disappears, sinks into, sinks into the skin and disappears. So let's go now for the splash Excalibur like the soap. I'm actually excited for this one because the scent on the soap reminds me of the old colognes. Musky and woodsy. So I'm expecting the same here. So let's go. I have to say the splash feels a bit different than the soap. Yeah, a little bit different. Intensity, not that much. No, it could be that I had the balm with that lime hint there that gives it the freshness, that change. It's witch hazel and it has the freshness there as well. Feels different than the soap. Yeah, it doesn't feel exactly the same. I'm just putting a bit more. There we go. It's uh, witch hazel based actually. Yeah, it feels different. I'm gonna be honest, I prefer the soap. The scent of the soap for me, it's much better. This feels actually more subdued as well. In the soap, I probably would have given it a seven in terms of intensity. This one would give it about a four on the splash. But it does feel good, I have to say. Yeah, feels different, but it uh, feels nice on the skin. Oh, that's it. Let's recap our shave. We used the Tetonic Shaves, the Excalibur set with the pre-shave and scented and the balm and scented. To leather it with, we use the Simpson Trafalgar T3. Love this synthetic brush. And one of my favorite razors by Parker, the Semi Slant. I just love this razor. Always have great shaves with her. And I had about five days growth, which is not normal for me. I don't let it go that far. And it just mold them off like BBS. Perfect. Now, we use the pre-shave. I have to say, I'm, I was, I'm never much for oils, the pre-shave oils, but uh, this one was actually not bad. Um, the reason I don't like much of the, the, the oils is because some oils you put it on and they don't sink into the skin properly and then with the leather, it feels different. I don't know how to explain, but, but this one is actually not bad, I have to say. It sink into the skin pretty quick and then on the leather, I didn't feel that it changed the leather at all. Nice. Then we used the soap Excalibur I have here on the rack. As you guys can see it doesn't even look like it was touched and it, it feels like those old glycerin soaps um at least seeing on the puck i, I have to say the scent on this <sighs> I love it. Love it. Musky, woodsy. It reminds me of old clones. Definitely really, really nice, I have to say. Uh, this is the tin that comes in. I'm not gonna put it on the tin. I'm gonna leave it here drying for a while. And as soon as I feel that it's dried, then I put it back on the tin. Now, we used the witch hazel afterwards and to finish it off, we went with the aftershave balm. Really nice actually, pretty thick, feels more like a moisturizer. Uh, fresh, really fresh. You feel the menthol and there's lime there as well. Uh, and it soothes the skin really, really nice. My skin is feeling just 
Wow. Perfect. And then to finish it off, we use the splash, Excalibur splash. And the, the splash kind of was the least from all of it, it was the least for me. Love the soap, love the scent of the soap. I was expecting to have more or less the same uh, scent here. And it doesn't feel like the same scent, it feels more subdued. Now it is witch hazel, doesn't have alcohol. I don't think at least I, do, I don't see it here on the ingredients at all. And I didn't feel that burn of the alcohol either. So it feels like a witch hazel based one really nice maybe because I had the bomb before you don't feel much of a difference there but um the scent which is the main thing that I was expecting from here because of the soap I was a bit disappointed with the scent I think should be stronger and similar to the to the soap uh, it feels kind of different I'm gonna open it again yeah it feels more subdued feels a bit fresher than the soap and subdued putting there a bit more on my hand there you go I'm just yeah it doesn't feel the same at all yeah that's the only nick peek of all this chef the chef was brilliant that's the only nick peek is the scent of the splash i was expecting to be more to do with the the soap and no and it's more subdued but as you guys can see pbs shave gorgeous shave my skin is feeling lovely so a great shave thumbs up so that's it First of all, let me just uh, thank again to uh, Super Safety Razors and Parker for sending the, the set for this shave. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to put a like on it. And if you want to help the channel even more, there's my affiliate links down below. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. Ciao.